In this video, I'll show you how to connect your PS5 controller to your Mac computer. It works with iMac, MacBooks, Mac Pro, Mac Studio, whatever Mac you have. So the first step is we need to go into the Bluetooth settings of your Mac. The easiest way is to go on the top left corner, click on the Mac icon, the, the Apple icon, sorry, then select system settings. And from here on the left side menu, you're gonna see Bluetooth. If you have an older Mac with an older Mac OS, you're gonna have a bunch of different icons and Bluetooth should be one of them. Once you have clicked this, it's time to put the controller in pairing mode so that the computer can see it. Press the PS button at the same time as the share button to put it in Bluetooth pairing. So let me do it with you. I'm pressing both at the same time. I keeping these buttons pressed until I see the blue light flashing. Here we go, it's flashing so I can release these buttons. Now set the controller aside, not too far away. And on your Mac, you should see appearing the PS5 controller. Now, if you don't see it, you may have to go down this list and over there it will appear. So once, once I see DualSense wireless controller, I simply click connect. It takes two seconds and here we go. It's now under my devices with the rest of the Bluetooth devices that are connected. Once you've finished, you can go ahead and start using your controller with your Mac computer right away to play games that are made for Mac, but also to use remote play and yeah, play your PS5 games this way. Now, once you're done, if you want to completely remove the controller from your Mac because you're done playing and maybe you don't want to play in the future, press the I icon, do not press disconnect, press the I icon and then select forget this device, forget device and it will be erased completely. Now, once you've done this, let's say you close your Mac and you want to play with your PS5 and using this controller. Well, sometimes it may not work as it was before simply by pressing the PS button when it's asked on the screen. You may need to connect it using a USB cable simply to re-establish the pairing between the console and the controller. This is just a side note. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this was useful. Please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.